bites Johnny, just going to show you this flower pot cooker. I'm going to cook up some chicken kebabs on sticks. This is the flower pot about a foot high, with a hole in the bottom. It's sitting on two bricks, so it gets airflow up underneath. Got some of them briquettes in there. It's been going for about half an hour. Gotta wait till they turn white, apparently. Another 10 minutes or so. Got this grill that fits on there perfect. Rub a bit of olive oil on that first. Okay, we're going to start cooking now. Those briquettes are glowing. All white. Just got a bit of olive oil on this towelette. Let's give them a rub. Just check the temperature of this thing with this temperature gun. Let's have a bit. 660 Fahrenheit, depending where you put it, over there at 790. We've moved these hot rocks around. What's that in Celsius? About, about 430 Celsius. These ones are honey soy, and we got um. Peanut sardo as well. Make sure you don't pack them on the stick too tight. You want to get a little bit of air between them. These flower pot cookers are great. Use hardly any fuel. Get it going in about 40 minutes. You got six nice sardo sticks on there. Whatever's left on your plate here, you brush that on there. Put a bit of sesame seeds and honey and soy and that left over here. You just brush that on there. Every five minutes or so, these will probably take 15 minutes, 10 or 15 minutes, I guess. Just let them sit for about five minutes. In this bowl here, we've got a bit of lemon thyme and rosemary. We're going to sprinkle that in later and finish them off with a little bit of smoke. Get my turn now. Yeah, there they go. Might turn them a couple times. They're looking pretty good there. Just make sure you keep an eye on them. If you turn them a couple of times, <clears throat> if there's a hot spot somewhere you can move this one over there and that one here, swap them around a bit. This one's looking nice. They're nice with that capsicum or red peppers, whatever you call them. Put a bit of onion on there or whatever you like. Looking really good. Make sure you give a gap between them. Five minutes or so, and looking good. Then we'll rest them for five minutes. 
can't beat the taste of an outdoor barbecue. Okay, these are more or less nearly ready now. Some of the thicker ones. You don't want to use these. They're like turning sticks. Get yourself one of these things. Get straight on there. You put a split chicken in there. You cook just about anything on these things. You'll probably even cook a pizza. Put a pizza stone on there. Put this over the top. Some of these are looking pretty good. A little bit of char on that red pepper. This one's really nice. I think that's a honey soy. This one's probably a peanut sardine. And this one's needs a little bit more. One looks really good. Now these three here, I'm going to lay them out there. In here we got a bit of lemon thyme and a bit of rosemary. I'm going to sprinkle that down into the hot rocks. Leave that one on top there. He's smoking up there now. We'll just put this on for well, five minutes or so. You can see how the smoke will build up inside there. And okay, we're giving these a smoking for about ten minutes now. Five minutes. Give them a turnover. Give them another five minutes. And okay, we'll give them another five minutes or so. Looking really good. Don't know how they'll turn out the smoked ones. Look really nice. There's our six kebabs. They cost about three dollars worth of chicken thigh fillets, homegrown red peppers. After 15 minutes of cooking or so, we'll just check this temperature again. We've still got about 600 Fahrenheit. It's about 300 Celsius. Okay, I'll just put my pan over the top to put that out to save the um, hot rocks. <clears throat> They'll go out and use them again. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope you like my um, little flower pot cooker. Great little things to use, use hardly any fuel, good for about three or four people. Shish kebabs and homemade beer. Mmm.